Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard, coming to you today from Wynwood, Florida. It's not a place we've been before. And today, we're not gonna do the party stuff. We're not gonna do the crazy stuff. We are just gonna go to four different breweries here in Wynwood, Florida. Now, if you happen to be on a cruise ship, on an airplane, on something like that, you might not have a car. You'll just take an Uber over here. But if you do have a car, the place to park is in the WeWork garage. So this is actually a, it's more expensive, but guess what? The streets are filled with drunks at night. You gotta pay for parking everywhere anyway. So you might as well park somewhere secure. So the WeWork garage is my parking of choice. So we are gonna go to at least four different breweries. It's eight o'clock right now. In the next four hours before they close, we're gonna go to four different breweries. One of them is still independent. I think that's where we're gonna go first. The other three are not quite what they seem. One of them was set up by corporate overlords, and the other two now belong to corporate overlords. Now, corporate overlords, I mean Corona, Heineken, Imbev, all of those like that. We're gonna talk about all the logistics, we're gonna try all the beers, and you're gonna know what to get. There's some special shots, some special things, frozen beer, flan shots, Star Wars, and so much more. So stay tuned as we go around Wynwood, visit four breweries, probably gonna get some pizza, some tacos, maybe go to a secret taco speakeasy inside of a bathroom. You never know where we might go on No Pants Profits. So I'm not gonna lie, we were headed to the first brewery and I see this window. And you know, sometimes you see a window open like this and you know, someone's gonna jump out and rob you, but I was hoping it wasn't like that. And it was instead a place I've never heard of before called Tacos El Progreso. Uh, I guess it means progressive tacos. Uh, they've got right, Rico's Tacos, Cerveza, Tequila, and Mezcal, and they had a little window right here. So I said, hell, let's go to the little window. I got a, um, I got an El Pastor taco. A friend of mine got some uh, pork taco. Oh, no, they, what'd you get? You got fish taco, right? Fish taco. He got some fish taco. I'll let you know how a taco is, and I got some Maya Cola. Yes, it's not alcoholic, but you know, well, that's pretty good. Tastes kind of like Mexican Coke. But a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it is. Like this, this came out of nowhere. Just walking to Jay Wakefield, which is the first brewery, which is still the only independent brewery here in the Wynwood area. And I think Tacos El P Progreso, which kind of sounds like a, I don't know, it sounds like they're selling insurance or soup, not tacos. Yep. But uh, <laughs> I guess so. We've got Happy Taco Lady there. Wave hi, Happy Taco Lady. And she's going to get us our tacos. And because uh, remember, you never want to. I haven't eaten in a while, nor is my friend who's with me. You never want to drink on an empty stomach. Elsewise, you get a hangover the next day. Also, Joe Exotic 2024. So those tacos, well, taco was delicious. It was a little high priced for a single taco, but uh, I mean, that taco was absolutely delicious. Uh, insert photo here. Uh, new place I just stumbled upon, and we are at the first brewery. This is the last of the independent breweries in Wynwood. It's called J. Wakefield Brewing. And you'll see, they got my boy, Baby Yoda right there. Bunch of big Star Wars murals outside and everything like that. They always have a food truck here, kind of crafting something. But like I said again, this is the last of the independent breweries here in, uh, in Wynwood. Everyone else has been, everyone else has been bought out by someone. So I always like to, uh, I like to show the independent ones. They have a whole, uh, whole superhero theme inside. They've got Hans, they got the table that's got the Hans Solo frozen in carbonite. And um, I think the amazing thing is they, they won't sell. Uh, they've had offers to buy many times and uh, it's beautiful Star Wars theme pool. They've got a whole bunch of different stuff here. Again, that, that Han Solo table comic books, Star Wars, everything like that. And you know what they also have? They have really, 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 really good beer. So I'm gonna grab some beer and I'll tell you about the beer they've got here at Jay Wakefield, the last independent of the four breweries. There used to be five or six and a lot of them shut down of breweries here in Wynwood. All right, so we have some beer here. I already know what I like here. Uh, there is a great beer here called El Jefe. That's the one I really like here at uh, Jay Wakefield, but I'll tell you, I look at the menu and I saw a Marzen, Oktoberfest beer. Uh, I was gonna actually stop in Germany. For those of you that are following along, I was in Poland last week. I wanted to stop in Germany for Oktoberfest, and then someone told me Oktoberfest actually happens the last week in September. So I was like, 
Well, that's some false advertising. Uh, but I got a Mars in, but just so you know, they also have flights here. So you've got uh, all kinds of different flights of different beers going from lighter to darker. But guess what, Jay Wakefield, light to dark, they're always delicious. If you do go to any, uh, you go to any, uh, what's the name of that, the beer festival in the state of Florida. Like I'm going to a beer festival in Orlando next weekend. You'll be along there. Uh, I'm going to a beer festival in Orlando next weekend and Jay Wakefield's gonna be there. Jay Wakefield, the guy who owns it is a great guy. I have nothing bad to say. The only thing, the only negative I have here is you can't actually see where they make the beer. But I mean, that's a, it's a very slight negative, but still, still a negative nonetheless. And if you know from No Pants Profits, when we have half a, when we have half a beer, you know what we do. We finished the glass. Han Solo wishes you safe flying, and I will see you at the next brewery, which is going to be La Tropical. Definitely check out Wakefield if you are in the Wynwood area. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, the end of Marzen number three. We're going to Marzen number four. And uh, the bartender here said, hey, look, I love the hat. And I got something that matches your hat. And he had, literally has a uh, Joe Exotic coloring sheet, which is Joe Exotic saying, I saw a tiger and a tiger saw, and a tiger saw a man. Joe Exotic. Love me some Joe Exotic. He is the one hope to save America. And you know what? The night is young. It is uh, 8.38. First uh, brewery doesn't close till 11, so. Yeah. Uh. Sorry for the burp. Joe Exotic, 2024, to save America. All right, so for our next brewery, this is interesting. This is actually a brewery that's fake. Um, not really fake. It is a Cuban brewery that was relaunched by Heineken about three, four years ago. It's called La Tropical. It is beautiful. It is, in my opinion, the most beautiful brewery in all of Wynwood. I mean, take a look at this outside. This is not going to be used as much on a uh, weeknight. Today's a Thursday night. It is called La Tropical. It is an old Cuban brewery. And this old Cuban brewery, Heineken rebirthed this old Cuban brewery, rebirthed new life in this old Cuban brewery. When you see this, it is beautiful. In my opinion, for just pure beauty, this is the prettiest brewery in all of Wynwood. I mean, look at it. They're actually, they're secretly brewing Heineken in a lot of these breweries back here. But I mean, look at the, look at this. And the cool thing is you can even get yourself if you wanted, you can get yourself an unfiltered beer here, which is an unfiltered Ambar. Uh, I will tell you, Carnival actually sells this beer on board uh, in the Havana section of their Carnival ships but it is filtered, it is pasteurized on the carnival ships. If you want unfiltered, unpasteurized, the only place you're gonna get that is in Wynwood. It is absolutely delicious. Uh, hold on, let me get this right here. La Tropical, highly recommend. This is a great second stop. Yeah, yeah, let's go outside real quick because it's, it's, it's quieter out here. Yeah, technically speaking, technically speaking, is this Heineken? Yes. But functionally speaking, is this still delicious? Also, yes. Ambar, la ambar, which is originally from a Cuban recipe. You should definitely check this out if you're Winwood. at La Tropical. Some nights on weekends and stuff, it is harder to get in here, but during the week, they have food, they have everything. La Tropical, it is a hit. Remember, remember, remember that you can't drink all day if you don't eat a little bit. This is their Oktoberfest. I don't like Oktoberfest nearly as much as I like Marzins, but uh, no, I'm not drinking that entire liter of beer right there. But um, we do have, we got some pretzels. This is from uh, 
Oh God, La Tropical, which is the Heineken version of a Cuban brewery. Um, got a little snacks and stuff like that. Pretty good stop. But remember, again, this is owned by a giant. Everything we're going to for the rest of the night is owned by a giant. At least, let me be very clear. At least they're clear about it, okay? At least they, they don't lie about it like some of the other places to look. It says like Heineken Investment. This is a Cuban brewery that Heineken has invested in and Heineken admits it. On the menu, they admit it. Now, whether you look at it or not, this is a beautiful brewery. But you see all these tanks right here? You think they're brewing this uh, Oktoberfest stuff in here? No, this is Heineken. What you're looking at right here, they are brewing Heineken here. Uh, people will lie to you, they'll tell you bullshit. Um, they're brewing Heineken here. But this is uh, La Tropical, highly recommend. Uh, you give a stop here, but you understand what you're getting into. Great beer, unfiltered beer, delicious beer, but um, it's still corporate beer. And we got more corporate beer coming throughout the night tonight. All right, so next we are at Vaza Sur. And the place is a flan shot. This is owned by Corona. They don't want to say that. Uh, but this is owned by Constellation Brands. No, who owns it now? I'm hard time, but... What? Uh, the same people who own uh, Bud Light. I'm hard time, but... Oh, crap! This is Bud Light. Oh, I shouldn't say that out loud. Uh, yeah, so this is Anheuser-Busch. This is InBev right here. But this is the best shot in all Wynwood. Have you tried this? You got to just take it straight. I got two. Here we go. Oh, good God. That's good. Anheuser-Busch InBev, you do it right. That is the flan shot here. That's a good shot, isn't it? It is good. It's got coffee, it's got all that. We're gonna explore elsewise what they've got here, but yeah. like, Nothing's better than that. Like that's, that's the best. Good. That's the best shot it's you've had here. Good one. I love it. I, love I think we're gonna have a few more of those. But um, yeah, uh, Vesa Sur. Although they're owned by the same people as Bud Light, but you know, still at the same time. So the next thing to try here at Vesa Sur, after your um, flan shot, it's a frozen beer. Their frozen beers are delicious. What is in the frozen beer? That's a Spanglish. No, it's Lula Sour. Lula Sour. Okay. So they got the Lula Sour, which freezes air, but the other beer to have here, trust me, I don't have it after this, is Spanglish, is your most famous, right? Yeah, it is. It's Spanglish is their most famous beer to have here, but they, they are owned by Anheuser-Busch, so just be aware of that. Mm. Their frozen beer, it's delicious. Love, love it's it. like an icy, but with alcohol. I mean, it reminds me of Vegas, to be honest. Reminds my friend here of Vegas. And that's not a bad thing. Hey, I'm in Vegas in three weeks. I'm excited for Vegas. I'm going to the Sphere. If you're here for it, I'm here for it. We're on the Sphere. We're going back to um, we're going we're going back to David Copperfield. It is gonna be incredible. But um, yeah, I agree. This tastes like Vegas. Yeah. It's delicious Fat and it's Tuesdays, right? This motherfucker said Fast Tuesdays. Fat. Can, I, I know what Fat Tuesdays is. <laughs> Fat Tuesdays is a bastardization of what we're drinking right now. This is good beer. No, it's better. This is better than Fat Tuesdays. Better. better. He knows I'm right, but I'm gonna drink my frozen beer. I think we're gonna have a Spanglish, we're gonna have some other stuff. And we got one more brewery to go to, and then who the hell knows what's gonna happen after that. All right, so next off, we're gonna talk about Winwood Brewing. Let's be brutally honest. Winwood Brewing used to be inside of Winwood. Then, I'm gonna say the G word. We're late enough in this video. Gentrification pushed them out of Winwood. You've gotta go some real sketchy places. There's this road you've gotta cross right now. This is generally the border of Winwood. We are gonna be crossing this and hopefully not dying right now to get to Winwood Brewing. Now, Winwood Brewing has contract brewed for a lot of companies. Virgin Voyages, Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean. If you want to buy a Miami beer, this is where you go. Now, technically speaking, Winwood Brewing is actually part of, oh, they painted over the, the oh, no, there's the unicorn. Uh, Winwood Brewing is part of the, uh, 
the group that um, pretty much makes all the Miami beers. And yes, they have My Little Pony murdering itself. There we go, right there. You see, My Little Pony has a dagger through its head because why the hell not? We are walking down. You do kind of have to live, leave, sorry, I said live, leave the safety of Winwood to get to Winwood Brewing. And yes, when I say leave the safety, I mean that is a high voltage electrical wire. You really shouldn't tap on high voltage electrical wires. The thing is gentrification, meaning, look, let's, let's be brutally honest. We're enough in this video. This is what happens when the whites push the blacks out of their neighborhood. Gentrification has kind of forced Winwood Brewing to be out in the middle of friggin' nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. Um, I know that sounds crazy. There's all these things around us and stuff like that. Um, you could park your car here. Good luck. Uh, but if you walk a little bit further, again, Google Maps will, will help you. If you walk a little bit further, this place looks a little bit sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. This place looks a lot of it sketchy. Uh, but if you walk in Winwood, you could take an Uber. If you want to take an Uber, you can take an Uber. But eventually, you will see a clearing. For some reason, it's a giant flatbed. It looks like it'll take a Tesla Semi. But if you move just a little bit further and to the right, you will see a clearing. And this clearing right here, that is the Winwood Brewing Company. So just be aware. That might not be the safest clearing in the world. But uh, we've got the Winwood Brewing Company, which is a contract brewer for a lot of companies around. And also the fourth brewery here in Winwood. And I normally come right in here. And their most famous beer is called La Rubia. When I get inside, I will tell you what I get. Winwood Brewing in Winwood, Florida. Quite an adventure to get here, but once you get here, you know what? It's a pretty good drink. So let's talk about Winwood Brewing. This is the contract brewer. Pretty much everybody that wants to make their own brew from South Florida is going to go here. Specifically, when I say everyone, I'm talking about Virgin Voyages. Sorry. Uh, Virgin Voyages has decided they wanted to partner with Winwood Brewing, who is part of Bud Light, yes, uh, InBev Bud Light. The last two places we were at was InBev Bud Light, and this is where they want to get kind of in bed with. This is actually a good beer. I like this. This is called the. Uh, oh crap! This is called Great Amber Beer, made by Winwood Brewing. It's not called La Rubia. I'm sorry. I've had a little too much to drink to know the answer to that question, but um, it's a good beer. A little bit, a little bit, a little spiciness to it. A little bit of that after beer flavor, but um, it's a good one. Uh, Winwood Brewing is your, your contract brewer. They'll make you anything under whatever friggin' name you want. Uh, <laughs> Virgin did it, everyone else did it, and um, Winwood Brewing is your place to do it. Uh, so definitely stop by here if you want a beer with your name on it for some ungodly reason made by. Uh, InBev, which also makes Bud Light. So my next place I've gone to is actually called uh, La Tropical, which is a pizza, uh, a pizza place, and it's inside of Gramps in Wynwood, and they have the best garlic rolls I've ever had in my entire life, so I highly recommend you come here. Now tonight they're having some kind of special event, so you really don't want to come here, but uh, the garlic rolls here are fire and i got a hawaiian pizza as well but the garlic rolls are what you want to get here at gramps in winwood and then we're gonna go one more place we finished the four the the four places that are to get beers at but uh there's a couple more places to check out here in winwood so i highly recommend you uh you check out uh these places in winwood y'all thought i was messing around before but no 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 we've got some insane garlic rolls right here and some insane pizza right here 
it's pretty insane. Um, these garlic rolls are some of the best I've ever had in my life. Oh. So much garlic. So good. Is this a loud bar? Yeah. Am I having the best garlic rolls I've ever had? Yeah. If you want garlic and you want rolls, this is the place to get them. I mean, look at this pizza. This is Hawaiian pizza. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. So good. We may have one more stop tonight, but who knows? This is fire. Fire. All right, so we have finished all four breweries. And you know, there's there's one more place you got to go in Hinwood. It's either Koyo Taco, which you'll see right here. Well, either Koyo Taco or there is another option. This is called the Mad Butcher. And you have a choice between Koyo Taco and the Mad Butcher. And I honestly, truthfully think uh, tonight we are gonna go with the Mad Butcher instead of Koyo Taco. Now what is this? These are the secret speakeasies inside of food restaurants. And um, we've done all four of the, uh, we've done all four of the breweries and everything like that. But um, yeah, Koyo Taco has a big long line outside. Let's go to the, uh, the Mad Butcher and see what the Mad Butcher has inside of it. So right now I am in the Mad Butcher. It is a Thursday evening, technically, still technically Thursday evening, cupping for midnight, and I am drinking me some beer. Uh, this is the Mad Butcher, it's to the left of Koyo Taco. Koyo Taco is a little bit more busy tonight, so you know, if you don't wanna go over there, then you don't wanna go over there, but this is, this is very different than what you'd see in most of uh, the Windwood area. If you came here on a Thursday or Friday or Saturday, it would be insane. But uh, tonight, oh wait, I said Thursday. If you came here on Friday or Saturday, sorry, it would be insane. But uh, tonight on a Thursday, it's quiet. This is behind the Mad Butcher. So if you go in, you go past the bathrooms of the Mad Butcher. Literally, you have to go past the bathrooms and there's a little curtain behind there. And then uh, you can get some beer, you can get some wine. Oh, you can get some champagne. Now, Friday, Saturday, things get a lot more expensive. I paid under 20 bucks for uh, two, uh, two Stellas right here. This is not the bar culture of Wynwood. This is actually, look, literally, like, if you come here on Friday or Saturday, you've got a whole DJ up there and everything like that. This is not the bar culture of Wynwood. This is the actual hard liquor culture of Wynwood. Now, why did I come here? Because I got a friend who's with me that I had to show them the hard liquor culture of Wynwood. Now, we're drinking by beer, but uh, El Coyo Tacos or the Mad Butcher, literally pretend like you're going to the bathroom, go past the bathroom, and you can walk right in to their um, speakeasy. Uh, El Coyo has been around for a little bit longer, so that one's a little bit longer of a, uh, of a wait. You do need to make sure you're wearing pants as well as closed toe shoes because this is a dark place, so they don't want to let you in unless you're wearing pants and closed toe shoes. But um, if you want to go a little bit further than the breweries, a little bit further than Wakefield, uh, than La Tropical, than um, Winwood Brewing, and uh, Veza Sur. Uh, if you go right past the Mad Butcher or El Coyo Taco, you have a whole place back here to enjoy. And Thursday, Friday, Thursday, you know, Monday through Thursday, it's a little bit quiet, but uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's a little bit more difficult to enjoy. So it is 12.41 a.m. We have stopped by, well, that just wants to zoom on me. We have stopped by all of the uh, breweries and we got some mac and cheese mm. oh my oh mm. 
I'm not an animal if it's mac and cheese saving. Um, that was good. That was the Mad Butcher. I've shown you all the breweries that are in the Winwood area. Showing you everything you might want to see. There are plenty of more places to check out in the Winwood area, but definitely check out those three breweries. Again, we went to uh, Jay Wakefield, La Tropical, Vesa Sur, and Winwood Brewing. Those are the places to see, even though Jake Weave Wayfield is the only independent brewery. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you walking back to his truck at the Wee, got the Wee Work Garage in Windman, Florida. Reminding you that when you drink craft beer here, unless you're drinking Concrete Beach, that's a deep freaking cut. That, that's out of business. That was a, uh, was a brewery that's owned by Dogfish. They made the beers for Disney. We're not talking about that. But unless you're drinking Concrete Beach and you're having uh, Jay Wakefield, La Tropical, Vez Azur, and Win Win Brewing, when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose, and you know what that is? That is your shirt. This is a Win Winwood. This is Richard from Winwood Brewing, reminding you that we wear no pants. The only thing you left, the only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Where's my mac and cheese? Bye.